Well, good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who subscribed because I just seen this morning when I woke up that we have officially hit 100 subscribers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here's to uh, another 100 more, but uh, what we've got going on today and since it's kind of a special occasion, I figured we'd do a little bit of celebrating. Got a little bit of a treat for you guys. And that is this right here. This is our 1957, I think, Cat D7 Cable Dozer. This dozer has been on the farm for a very long time. And, well, the reason why this video is going to be a little bit of a celebration for 100 subscribers is because this dozer it's kind of a rarity that it comes out uh, usually it'll sit for eight nine ten years and then we'll use it for a week or two and then it'll sit for another eight nine ten years but the reason why it's here is because the last time we was using it when we was building dad's pole barn is because the water pump went out on it and good luck finding new parts for this thing at least uh, you know anything besides gaskets and seals and filters uh, but we was able to source a used pump the uh, shaft in it is what we needed it wasn't perfect but hopefully it'll be good enough so got that put on last weekend and uh, today we're gonna fire it up and you know it's been sitting up here for six or seven years now and uh, I really don't want to see this thing set out for another winter we've got it good and tarped up so you know we did our best to try to prepare it for sitting outside it's just one of those things that we got busy and just didn't have time to get to it but this thing's going back in the pole barn it usually sits inside we're pretty particular about not letting our equipment sit outside so I'm gonna get the tarps ripped off of this thing real quick and we'll give you guys a better look all right that's better so this dozer, like I said, I believe it's a 57. It has the 3T cat engine in it, which is a four cylinder, naturally aspirated diesel. And I don't know what model number the pony motor is, but it's a two cylinder gas. And for those of you who do not know, this little gas engine is your starter motor for the big diesel engine. Seeing how this thing always sits for so long in between getting run, the gas engine always likes to give us fits. Usually every time we go to run it, <clears throat> you gotta pull the carburetor off, clean it, just because of the junk gas nowadays. But we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky. But yeah, the diesel engine, it'll start every time it's always just getting that pony motor running because you know gas engine problems but yeah cable blade uh, 12 foot wide and that's that's pretty much it you got cables up there running down to your blade frame they run down that tube all the way back to your cable unit in the back and that lever up there is how you raise and lower your blade um, at one point in time this dozer did have a roof on it uh, <laughs> it actually had a wooden roof with shingles on it but that got ripped off courtesy of a low hanging branch a long time ago it wasn't me <clears throat> um, but yeah it, it's just a really simple machine nothing fancy about it but it does its job and really doesn't ask for a whole lot. Every time we park it for 
a long period of time we always drain the antifreeze out of it because we do have a slow coolant leak into the oil we believe it's a leaking liner but again like I said this thing might get used for two weeks every eight to ten years so it's really not worth putting a whole bunch of time and money into it and right here is our hour meter and it has thirteen thousand seven hundred and eighty four hours see down in there. Yep. So, we've got a lot of prep work to do to get this thing ready. Um, as this thing's been sitting here, the raccoons have been using it as a toilet, so we're going to have to shovel all that shit out of here. And just go through all of your normal checks, make sure everything's kosher. And uh, I guess I'll bring you back whenever we go to either fill it up with antifreeze or try firing a pony motor, one or the other.
pull some branches down that fell into our field.
it's a pretty exciting day to a close it's always a good time when we got the dozer running but it's in antifreeze is drained and it's in for the winter glad to see it back under a roof but just wanted to thank you guys again for 100 subscribers i appreciate every single one of you and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video